All right, one of my Patreons recently asked me about the connection between licks and chords. And I said, okay, let's try to put a little video together. And that's today's play along. So I will show you five licks in a Dorian. And I try to explain the way I approach it. Licks for me uh, can be compared to a journey or at least a route you take. You start on point A and you finally reach point B, at least hopefully. <laughs> and um, licks are a bit the same for me. There are a starting point, which is in our case, a certain chord and there is a ending point which is a chord as well so I always try to keep the chord progression in mind and uh, outline the chords with the notes I choose having said that I should just in case give a little repetition of the Dorian scale so technically we are in the key of G major and the second mode is A Dorian, that means our root is A, the second note of G. The chord of the second scale degree in G is a minor chord and I will use minor seven, A minor seven most of the time. That determines Dorian as a minor-ish mode. Minor-ish because the um, uh, triad over our root A is a minor triad, which is A, C and E. Minor-ish because there is a natural six, so we have F sharp as part of uh, the Dorian scale. The Dorian scale in total is, in this case, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A again. You should always have in mind where is your root, where is your triad, and where is the characteristic note of the mode? So, well, I said Dorian is a minor mode because of the triad we can build over our root. And it seems to be obvious to compare it to the minor, natural minor scale. And there we will find that the six, the natural six, F sharp, is the note that differs from the natural minor scale. That means natural man minor in A is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. But Dorian is, as we discovered, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and A. So this is, in fact, the only difference. Uh, what has all this to do with licks? Well, when I come up with licks that should sound Dorian, I will take care of two things. First, I will outline the chord with the triad. And second, I will try to play the note that gives the mode the characteristic sound. In our case, the natural six, F sharp. Okay, so let's start by looking closer into the note choices of the first lick. I start with the triad A, C and G, which is the root, the flat 3 and the flat 7. This really outlines the chord and after outlining the chord I try to bring in the F sharp as the natural 6 as we have seen the characteristic note of the mode. And that's why I target the F sharp here and once again by sliding into the F sharp and combining it with the flat 7 of A, the G, which brings out this iconic dissonance we can hear in modern music quite often. When I said I was starting at A minor 7, it needs to be said as well that I am ending on the F sharp, which is our important note. 
and which outlines the second chord, which is playing in the backing track, which is B minor 7. And B minor 7 consists of B, D, F sharp, this is our crucial note, um, A and B again. I try to start and end inside the chords, so to say. this kind of video and you get something out of it please make sure to subscribe hit the like button leave me a comment that really helps the channel makes me happy makes my day so this time quite the same deal I start with the A minor arpeggio in this case it's the real uh, triad, I play A, C, E and A again for the first chord and then I jump up to the um, flat 7 again, then comes the fifth sharp which is our characteristic Dorian 6, slide up to the 5 and end on the A again. When taking a closer look to the chords in the back, we have A minor 7 again, and the second chord is again B minor 7, which is perfectly outlined by the lick I am playing. A minor in the beginning, I even jump to the um, flat 7, then 14 on E string is the F sharp and I end on the A which is in B minor the 7th as we have seen, all right? Side note, when I'm creating guitar licks or melody phrases, lines, whatever, I try to bring out the sonic quality of a guitar. That means I try to use slight palm mutes, as we have seen in lick number two, or I use hammer-ons, pull-offs, as we have seen in lick number one, slides, and so on, because that's what guitar is about. Uh, a piano can't play slides, or at least not the same way as a guitar can. Uh, same goes for string bending or um, tapping, stuff like this, which has a characteristic sound that is tied to the guitar as an instrument.
So for the next click, I changed things up a bit. We are starting with B minor seven and we're leading to A minor seven. So the lick makes sure to end on a note that is part of um, A minor seven. And as you have seen, we are ending on the perfect fifth, the E ninth fret of the G string, which is, which, which fits the A minor um, triad. Uh, I'm starting on the F sharp this time, just to make sure we are in Dorian from the very first moment. And the rest is just outlining the chord and using F sharp. That's it, finally. I would say you should try to analyze the chords you're playing to. Um, be aware of the triads that make up the chord. In our case it was just A minor and B minor or A minor 7 and B minor 7. And try to play with the notes of the chord. Um, that's why, at least to my opinion, uh, playing pentatonic licks up and down can sometimes uh, sound a bit disconnected. That's just because if you're just noodling the pentatonic scale up and down, um, chances are you're not really aware of the chords you're playing to. And um, it's a great idea and uh, good way to develop your improvisation if you learn to practice over certain chord changes. For example, I always start my practice routine with just jamming a little bit every day and I just combine two chords uh, and I try to find melody lines, little phrases that connect these chords. Uh, and the result of doing so is most of the time at least melodies that sound like they are making sense and which are not so um, disconnected from the backing track. I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thank yourself for practicing and taking the time to improve on your instrument and see you next week. Enjoy! Bye!